Welcome. Welcome back to the saga of the world sport that we pulled from the trash and trying to restore. Earlier on, we did a new stem bar. We did some brake work, did a bottom bracket, cranks came off, and something's been bugging a lot of you, and it's also been bugging me. Let's go ahead and get rid of that chain. It's ugly, but could it be saved? That's kind of the idea here. We're trying to save what we can, but let's go ahead and get this thing off. Quick inspection tells us we have no quick link of any sort, no connector, so we're gonna pick a rivet here. We're centered up nicely with the chain tool. We're gonna drive that thing straight. And boy, oh, just what we expected. That is a lot of force to drive that out. Okay, this is rust, obviously, on this chain, but what is rust? This isn't what we would call a surface rust. It's just aesthetic. We have some good old structural rust here. This rust is eaten into the surface of the material. This is going to be a weaker chain. <laughs> There's so much friction in there. No way can we salvage this, except possibly it could be a nice piece of art. Or what we could do is mount it to a nice piece of driftwood in the form of a bike for a trophy for somebody's race. Maybe we'll save that for later. A little artwork for Truman or something. So now let's look at what we have to get rid of. Again, we're going to the one speed. We have our single sprocket here. We're gonna have a single ring in front, but I think this cable, I think this needs to go away. This needs to go away. We're gonna pull this out up here. All right. Ah, cleaner, cleaner already, isn't it? Let's go ahead and continue cleaning here. What we're gonna do is take these cranks and convert it so it's a single ring. This one, both of these rings gotta come off. Let's see how that's done. So what we have for names, we have the crank that consists of a, the spider section, chain rings, and chain ring bolts. These have gotta come out counterclockwise. I think these are some dry, dry threads. We'll have to remedy that. There we are. Very good. All of those out. This chain ring <laughs> made of steel. That's kind of fun. As is this one. But this is the one we're gonna use. We could mount it here, or we could make it here. The ring could do either. Because we have four choices how this can go, we're gonna first fully mount the arm in a working position and then determine. So that's gonna go on. We're gonna take the crank bolt. NTC is already on. And we're gonna spin that down and we're gonna get that fully tight shooting, oh, 35-ish Newton meters. Deflecting that steel. I see the needle up on 30. Right between 30 and 40, 35. That's fully tight. Great. So why? It pushed it in a little bit. So we can take a ring here. Uh, it's gonna go either, it can go on the outside of our spider, it can go on the inside. It's gonna move a little bit. So I'm gonna start on the inside. I'm gonna get here, I'm just gonna sight back there. Whew, that's a bit much that way. If I go on the outside, that's almost an air the other way. But what I can do also is flip with a slight dog bone in there. That is going to make it even, oh, that made it worse. Let's go inside. Nothing is perfect, doesn't need to be. Does not need to be straight on. I think I like that one. That's what we're gonna go. I'm on the inside, that the dog bone shifts it a little bit to the out, um, ready for my five bolts. 
besides some thread preparation. Uh, problem with these, if I use these, they are basically too long because they're counting on the other uh, ring to be a spacer. We've got to find a solution. Time for some nuts and bolts. Now, these aren't going to work. This is too long. This goes past the spider and the ring just too long. They do make shorter ones. We don't have them. Don't have them. But we have something else. We have an old bag of tricks in the sense of a box. So I keep my little old stuff in my plumbing specialties and repair box. Let's open it up. Lots of old fashioned goodies in here. Spacers of um, all sorts. These funny brake shoes. I don't, I don't know what those used to go to a long time ago. But what we have ooh, is right here, spacers. So that's gonna take up the room that the chain ring had. So I need one. I need two, but I better be careful. There's some thin ones in here. I don't want the, the thin ones. I need to have these all the same. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> better have five or I'm in five. So now I have five spacers. That's good. Put the box of tricks away. We are now ready to uh, install. I'm going to put a little thread prep right inside the sleeve nut, just a drop of lubrication on the inside. Chain and bolt, there we go. And there, that's good, that's good. That one's turning on us. I think I might need to get the chain ring nut. Nope, chain ring nut wrench not needed. This one can be used on the backside if they spin, but that one pulled up nicely, nicely. And, and I'm all the way around. Give it a spin. Oh, that looks pretty straight. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. We have one arm, why not? Why not do a second? Now that we're bolted in place, our attention's gonna come to the back. Normally, in a one speed, with a one sprocket in the front, one in back, we can wrap the chain around directly and adjust the back end for tension. Uh, that we cannot do here. Let's have a look what's under here. We pull this off. This dropout does not give us that option. That's a solid chunk of metal that would all need to come out. We could slide back and forth that distance. That, that might get us uh, enough options. This one, we cannot do that. We're going to need a idler here to give us tension. Luckily, our bike included an idler we can use. This one, we can just simply run down the limit screws. Don't need no cable, don't need no housing. We are gonna have to do some work. This one's awfully sticky, but it's gonna act as a tensioner because we cannot adjust it here and it's gonna be fantastic. Ho ho ho, Kelvin is almost finished with this single speed metamorphosis. But does he have what it takes to transform the derailleur into a simple chain tensioner? Or perhaps this will be the world sports last trip. Find out on the next Tech Tuesday.